Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is third lecture of this dynamic programming course series. And in this lecture, we are going to take on this problem that is two cross n grid tiling problem. So the problem is you are given a grid of size two cross n, and you have to tell how many different ways you can fill this grid using the dominoes of size one cross two or two cross one. This is one cross two, and oh sorry, this is one cross two, and this is two cross one domino. Example of this is for n is equals to two. That is, you have a grid of size two cross two. There are two ways you can fill the two cross two size grid using dominoes of size one cross two or two cross one. One way is fill both of the uh, columns with two vertical uh, dominoes. This would be one configuration. Other one is you can fill fill it using two horizontal uh, dominoes. So this and this there are two possible ways so answer of n is equals to 2 that is 2 cross 2 would be 2 if you are given a grid of size 2 cross 3 then there are three possible ways you can fill the grid using horizontal and vertical dominoes first one is you have used all three vertical uh, vertical dominoes and the second configuration is first vertical and then two tiles horizontal and third one is this two horizontal ties first uh, tiles first and then uh, a vertical tile so for n is equals to 3 that is 2 cross 3 there there is there are only three possible configurations or three possible ways you can fill the grid using vertical or horizontal dominoes so if you haven't seen the previous two lectures i advise you to go and check out those two lectures because some of the information uh, we would be using from previous two lectures i have explained how we approach a dynamic programming uh, problem there i have explained we approach dynamic programming problems using a uh, step by step or bit by bit so first we would make some of the observations first observation is if if i am filling uh, the grid using dominoes of course the last tile i'll be filling would either be horizontal or would be vertical right this observation may seem childish or lame but this is important one this would help us build solution of n from n minus 1 or previous solutions now second observation is what happens if the last tile is vertical we know that the last tile can be either vertical or horizontal that was observation one if, uh, even if if it was lame or childish it doesn't matter but that is observation one and observation second says that uh, or basically ask that what happens if the last tile is vertical so suppose we are given two cross n grid and we uh, we fill the last tile with vertical domino what would happen now you are left with two cross n minus one grid to be filled or basically you fill this tile with a uh, uh, vertical domino now you are left with two cross n minus one uh, grid to be filled now this seems like a sub problem of the original problem right we we were asked to fill two cross n now we are left to fill the two cross n minus one grid because the last one i filled with a vertical domino if i know the total number of ways to fill two cross n minus one grid then i know what are the total number of ways to fill two two cross n grid if the last grid is vertical if there are x ways to fill two cross n minus one grid then there are x ways to fill two cross n grid where where last grid is vertical now for two cross n the result depends upon two things first either when the uh, last grid or last domino is vertical or the last domino may be horizontal so next observation is what happens when you fill the last tile as horizontal or what happens when you fill the last last tile as this horizontal domino so the first question comes whether i should fill the above two or the 
below two uh, cells with those two with do, uh, with that horizontal domino well, uh, well it doesn't matter whether you feel up or down so we'll just take the down one so I've taken a horizontal domino and filled this place now tell me what you can do with the remaining these two cells now these two cell become uh, useless because you can't fill horizontal uh, sorry vertical tiles there the only thing you are left to do with these two tiles or these two cells is to fill them by another horizontal tile or domino so if you are filling uh, at some place you are filling it with a horizontal domino then above one or below one should also be placed or filled with the same tile or same domino so basically whenever you are filling a place with a horizontal domino uh, it takes complete two cross two place so now you are left with two cross n minus two grid if you know the solution of two cross n minus two grids because I filled the last one as uh, with the horizontal tile tile and I, uh, and now I am left with only two cross n minus one grid so if you know total number of ways to fill two cross n minus uh, sorry n minus two grids then all you have to do take all those configuration using which you were filling two cross n minus two grid slap this two cross two grid at the end of it and then you'll you'll be having uh, two cross n grid configurations so n minus 1 that is 2 cross n minus 1 and 2 cross n minus 2 ways are actually helping uh, us fill the 2 cross n grid this again is actually just like the previous problem and this again is having a Fibonacci series solution so if there are n minus 1 uh, so, sorry if there are x solution to fill 2 cross n minus 1 I'm not gonna write 2 again because that is same for every n so if there are total x configuration to fill n minus 1 that is 2 cross n minus 1 grid and there are y ways or y configurations to fill 2 cross n minus 2 grid then the total number of configuration to fill 2 cross n grid would be x plus y because you can take all those configuration ending at n minus y you can add a vertical domino and it would become 2 cross n you can take all the configuration of n minus 2 and then add a 2 cross 2 because we have to append two horizontal dominoes so that is why 2 cross 2 you can append 2 cross 2 uh, cell or grid at the end of those configuration and you would be getting a 2 cross n configuration so that is why uh, the solution of n can be built up using solution of n minus 1 and solution of n minus 2 which actually is nothing but Fibonacci series starting from 1 and 2 so all you have to do there is a problem easy tiling on codechef I am putting the link of that problem in the description and you are asked to solve that problem yourself the problem is you are given t task cases and in each task case you will be given given n and you basically have to print the nth Fibonacci number as we have seen it is actually Fibonacci number so you have to print the nth Fibonacci number but the problem is n is as large as 10 to the power 12 in the question so you can't use linear algorithm to calculate Fibonacci number there is a log n way to calculate Fibonacci number and that is using matrix exponentiation if you have no idea how matrix exponentiation work that is not a problem I have also a playlist of number theory in number theory playlist you can check out my uh, editorials for or tutorials for matrix exponentiation where I have also uh, taken a problem where I have literally talked about how we can calculate Fibonacci number in log n time so uh, watch those videos learn matrix exponentiation and then solve the problem that I am putting the link in the description so basically 2 cross n tiling problem can be solved using Fibonacci numbers and half we have already talked about that so I hope you have uh, got the idea how we derive solution of DP problems bit by bit or, or step by step if you are having uh, any query you can post it down in the comment section 
and leave a like if you think that that tutorial was great or even helpful that is okay too so thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you